you get a sense of their character when you see them in person. And it's not just that we get to ask questions, we can do follow-up questions. And you can only do that in smaller groups. But seeing them, whether we came here for conversations with the candidates, or you saw them in a house party, or you saw them at a candidate-controlled forum, it's very different. When we see them before they're on camera, when you're standing in line and looking at them meet person after person after person and seeing how their temperament handles that, it's, it's very telling. As an independent state and a smaller state, it gives you an opportunity and to meet these candidates. And it set the tone, I, I think, for, for most of the candidates. They know that you go to New Hampshire, that's where you, know, you get asked the tough questions because there are so many smaller town hall events compared to, you know, you go to a bigger state and you see the candidate once. Did you feel an obligation as a New Hampshire voter to really put the work in? And Ben, you're just starting doing this as a new voter, relatively new voter. Yeah, I think it is important, um, not just as a New Hampshire voter, but as an American citizen. I mean, this is democracy and we need to participate in it. And by going to these events, it helps enlighten you on political politics in general. I watch for consistency mm -hmm. as well as a willingness to consider and think about what we have to say as the audience. I didn't go into it with my mind made up, but I had to, as the process went on, I had eliminated someone who's now on my short list. How about that? And it really came because of, um, again, um, seeing her at the uh, ca uh, cafe really spending that time and yes, listening to some of the personal whole, things? Yeah, it was different questions. You saw another part of her personality.